you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. You know, sometimes Mrs. FFM, my wife, my lovely wife, decides to go and buy things from the freezer aisle. And sometimes it's stuff that I've already reviewed and have endorsed and have said they're, they're super awesome. And sometimes it's like brand new stuff. Sometimes she exposes me to things that I've never seen before. This is one of those instances. This is the cooked perfect gluten-free Italian style meatballs. Now you can see it's already been open. Uh, my kids have already eaten these and I have not eaten these yet. And I've actually reviewed the cooked perfect Italian style meatballs before. In fact, I included it in the top 50 frozen foods of all time, but I've never tried the gluten-free variety. Now let's talk gluten-free because I know some people need to eat gluten-free, some people choose to eat gluten-free, but when it comes to gluten-free meat, that kind of weirds me out, guys, because basically meat that doesn't have filler is gluten-free. So if it's not gluten-free, it means that it's packed with all sorts of extra filler. And that happens sometimes, I understand. Uh, in this case, it, it doesn't happen. You can cook this in the oven, you can cook it in the microwave, and I have already cooked this in the microwave. In fact, this is one of those rare cases, because I had to work late today, that uh, I'm just gonna eat this. Like this is gonna be, it's gonna be my dinner. Like I put this in the microwave. Um, three minutes for nine meatballs. It's probably, I probably shouldn't be eating nine meatballs. But anyway, this is what I did. Here's how it looks. As you can see, um, decent sized meatballs. Uh, about the size of a ping pong ball, I would say. Um, nicely browned on the outside. You can see the Italian spices on there. I can tell you now from the smell, this smells really good. It smells almost close to as if you went to the grocery store, you got yourself some ground beef, you rolled it in little uh, meatballs, you spiced it accordingly, and you pan fried them. It is, of course, called Cooked Perfect. Let's see what we got going on here. A little greasy on the bottom, that's expected. In fact, you know, the fact that it's a meat product, I would kind of hope that there's a little bit of grease there. Let's see how this tastes. Okay, okay. This is not like um, the, it just doesn't taste like you took ground beef and you made it into a meatball. It still feels like there's some like, texture thing added to it. I gotta go see, let me pop the rest of this in my mouth first. Mm-hmm. It's got great flavor. Not overly salty, not over Italiano style, um, but definitely something that would match well with a good marinara sauce, put it over some pasta. Really, really like this. I'm gonna look in the ingredients here and try to figure out what I'm, what I'm there it is. It's a soy protein concentrate. This is not just pure meat. It's got filler, but it's got different filler. It's got non-gluten filler. The soy protein uh, gives it a, a different type of texture. It's a texture that feels manufactured, not a texture of like you made your own meatballs. And so there's that aspect to this, uh, to this actual uh, product. That being said, the product tastes good. And if you have to eat gluten-free, okay, it's a good substitute. It's very easy to prepare. And I like this Italian seasoning. Not perfect. I wish it was like pure on meat, but then again, um, this is relatively inexpensive, about $4.50 for this bag. Um, so of course they gotta add some, some filling to it. And in this case, it was the soy protein. Given all of that, I give this a four out of five star rating. Question of the day, cooked perfect. Tell me in the comments section, what is the meal that you have eaten that has been cooked perfectly? Was it like, just like, like the most like perfect piece of fish? Was it a perfect steak? Tell me about a time that a meal was cooked perfectly and leave that in the comments section. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.